Hi there, welcome to Mrs. K's Corner. My name is Tammy. Today is the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Weekly, weekly Collab, and this week's theme is puzzles. I've already applied my base coat and the first coat of I Can Only Wear OPI, and now I'm doing the second coat. I Can Only Wear OPI is such a pretty dove gray polish. I'm going to do a layer of posh top coat. It's a really good fast drying top coat before I do any stamping. After the top coat is dry, I'm mixing some white and black paint to make a couple of shades of gray. And then I cut up or pulled apart little pieces of makeup sponge. And I'm digging or dipping the sponge into the dark polish and, and then the light polish to make kind of a marbly effect on my nails. I'm dabbing it onto the paper plate just to get the excess polish off so that it's not so gloopy on my nails. I'm sorry, I meant to say that this is acrylic paint, it's not nail polish. So after I put the pol or put the paint on the plate, I sprayed it a couple of times with water to thin it out a little bit. Next is a layer of Bundle Monster, now Maniology, a smudge-free top coat. And I'm hoping it is smudge-free. It is smudge-free. And next I'm going to use my Posh top coat so that I have a really smooth surface to do my stamping on. The plate I'm using is from Bundle Monster, now, of course, Maniology. It is BM XL21. The first image is a seek and find, and if you can't tell what it is, it, the circle love you. And I had to try and make it smaller because it was way too big to fit on my nail. And the same with the crossword puzzle one. And I'm using some super dry to put over the image to make a decal out of it. I'm doing the same with the crossword puzzle, making it smaller. It's better to use these solid uh, stamper heads instead of the clear ones to like make them smaller or make them bigger because the, the solid color ones have more mushiness to them and they won't crack as easy. And then I'm putting some of the super dry on top of this one to make a decal out of it also. I'm going to put some yellow stopper on my nails to get them sticky so that when I go to put the decal on, it'll stick to my nail. And there it is. All I need to do now is use some acetone and my cleanup brush and just melt the edges and then pull off what I can and melt off what I can. And just be careful not to get on top of the design because otherwise it'll take all the nail polish off. And I'm just following the same steps for the rest of my nails as I did for the first one.
and the cleanup is a mess, especially when you're using a black stamping polish because it just wants to go everywhere. If you're new to stamping, make sure when you're using images like this one that has a lot of the um, cutout parts, if there's, if it's big spaces or big, you know, black spots, make sure that when you stamp, you go straight down and straight back up instead of rolling your stamper because it will make a mess otherwise and you won't get a good image. Use a no smudge top coat so that you don't ruin your stamping. And next again, I'm using the posh top coat to give it a smooth and glossy finish. Last but not least is the cuticle oil. This is the mango one from Sally's Beauty Supply. Thanks for watching. All of the ladies' um, links and all of that will be down below in the description box. So go check out their videos. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you next time. Bye.